Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and in this After Effects video, we're gonna talk about creating five awesome text effects that you can easily apply with After Effects. So these five text effects slash techniques are some of my favorite effects to apply when creating titles. Some of them are very basic to a little bit more advanced, but nonetheless, we're gonna get these done really quick so you can learn these five techniques extremely quick. So let's go ahead and jump in our first technique. So for our first text effect, it's pretty much very popular, but it's simply overlaying video on your text, which is also known as an alpha mat. So let me show you how easy it is to place video on top of your text. All right, when you have your title ready to go, you bring in your image or video and you bring it underneath your title layer, just like this. And then you want to toggle switches and modes until you see the track mat. And for the video layer, set the track mat to alpha mat. And just like that, you're overlaying your video on your title. And then you can hit S on your keyboard for scale and you can reposition it or scale it around. And boom, just like that, you have video or a picture overlaying on your title. And for a quick tip, you can use the mask tools here at the top and grab you know, an individual letter and you can overlay multiple videos across different letters. So that was very easy, right? So for our next technique, let's go ahead and do something that requires a little bit more work. So for this next text effect, we're gonna create an RGB title, which I'm calling it a warped perspective title, but let me show you what I mean. All right, when you have your title ready, you wanna go ahead and pre-compose it. And then you're gonna to wanna to bring in radial blur and set it to zoom and bring up the amount by just a touch. And you can just see amount as you see fit. I'll keep it around 10. And then you're gonna to wanna to bring in shift channels, set the green and blue to off. Then you can duplicate your title layer, go to shift channels, turn off the red and turn green back on. Duplicate your layer again, turn off the green and turn on the blue. And then set the blend mode of the top two layers to screen. And then hit P on your keyboard to bring up position and type out the wiggle expression. So it's wiggle open parenthesis two comma five close parenthesis. And then copy the expression and then paste it into the second. And now you should have a little bit of RGB splitting for your title. And then let's create a new adjustment layer. And then let's bring in optics compensation to the adjustment layer and increase the field of view to about 60 or so and click on reverse lens distortion. And then we can apply the wiggle expression once again. And this time we can change the second number to be about 20. And now you'll have a little bit of RGB splitting for your title. And if you don't want this to affect the background, just go ahead and pre-compose all your layers except for the background. Now that looks pretty cool for a subtle title. So that took a little bit more work. And if you want to learn more about RGB effects, in my last tutorial, I gave away four techniques for you know creating RGB type effects. So go ahead and check that out. Links in the video description. But for our third technique, we're going to talk about creating a stroke title, which is an outline title that you can animate. Let's go ahead and jump into it. To create an animated stroke, when your title is ready to go, right click your layer and go to create and click on create shapes from text. And then you can open up your new shape layer, go to add and add a trim paths and click on the word fill at the top and set it to none. Click on the word stroke at the top and set it to solid color. And now you can set the end percentage down to 0%. You can add a keyframe for start. You can move forward in time and set the start percentage to 100%. And now you'll have an animation just like this. And you can increase the offset and make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now you have an animated stroke of your title. And this can work very similar for logos as well. So it's very important to know how to create your own titles, but what if you don't have the time or you don't have the patience to create very high end titles? But well, go ahead and check my links in the video description. All the previews you're seeing right here are from Video Hive. There's thousands of title templates on Video Hive that are pre-made and ready to go. And now the thousands, you can find a handful that work great for your project. So go ahead and check our links in the video description. So creating the outline of titles is very easy to do, but what about creating something a little bit more advanced? What about a liquid title, something that looks a little bit liquidy as it pours in? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so for our liquid title, once you have your title ready to go, grab the pen tool and make sure no layer is selected. And you're gonna to wanna to outline your title just like this. And then when you get to a new letter, you wanna click off and you wanna restart again. We'll outline the top of that eye. We'll come here and finish up the eye. And then we'll do the Q. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you kind of want to be on spot. And then you want to turn off your title layer. And now you have this outline looks terrible. But then with your shape layer here, you want to increase the stroke like crazy. And then go up the shape layer, add a trim paths. Set the start percentage to 
and we'll add a keyframe for it. We'll move forward in time, set it down to 0%, and then change the trim multiple shapes to individually. Then turn your title back on and set the track mat to alpha mat. And now you'll get this stroke outline effect just like this. From here, you want to make this look like a liquid effect. All right, the first effect you want to bring up is simple choker. Bring that onto your shape layer and then increase the choke mat to about 50. And then bring in roughen edges, increase the border to about 14, increase the edge sharpness to about 6.5. Let's add a keyframe for the evolution and move forward in time to the end to about like four seconds. Set this up to 2x and then alt click the stopwatch for scale and we'll type in the expression time star 400. And you'll have a little bit of animation as this animates. And then for the final effect, you're going to add turbulent displace. Set the amount at 25 and change the size to 17. And now you should have a pretty solid liquid pattern in here. And now if you want to add some extra style points, go to your title layer and bring in the fill effect and you can change your color. And then what you want to do is select the shape layer and title and duplicate them. Offset these layers in time by just a few frames. Decrease the choke mat under the simple choker to about 30 or so. Make sure you change the color for your title. Duplicate the new title and shape layer. Make sure to offset it in time. Return your title back to its original color. You can turn off the fill if you want. And then turn off the simple choker. And now you'll have a liquid or a brush reveal, whatever you want to call it, for your title. So for our fifth and final text effect, which I'm not considering it a text effect, it's more of a text technique, but I think something that I really want to talk about, which is compositing your titles with footage or photos. And this is not something that's necessarily easy. You still have to do a little bit of blending. You might have to bring in other solid layers, but making sure that your title looks good on your footage or any plate footage that you have is very important and not necessarily easy to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at several techniques to make sure that our titles stand out on our footage. All right, so here's our title on top of our footage. And if we want to make this blend a little bit better together, this is what we can do. So the first thing you can do is hit T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity for your background footage. You can lower the opacity. And clearly now that this title stands out even more. But so let's say we want to add it like maybe a little bit of color. Well, what we could do is create a new solid, put the solid on top of your footage, and then add the gradient ramp effect to your solid. Select two colors that you really like. And then you can experiment with the blend modes. So select it from maybe screen to overlay to even hard light. And you can get some very interesting results. So this is a before and after, and it can help you stand out your footage even more. And then one last technique you can apply is create a new solid and make it black. Make sure it's layers underneath your title and you can lower the opacity of this. And then you can grab say the rectangle tool and you can mask and just add a quick mask around your title here and make sure it's centered in between your composition. And then we can just animate this in by using the position parameters. And now our title has the opportunity to stick out among our background and you can use all these techniques or just a couple of them to make your title and footage blend well together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on our five text techniques slash effects. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, Sunduck Film. We do post two after effects slash post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. So hit that sub button. And if you guys did enjoy the video, it really means a lot to me. Drop a like on the video, helps me out tremendously. Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.